an innocent place, has turned into a terrifying stage. Join me to learn more about Garden of Ban Ban, as I create with Plasticine the first two characters of Chapter 1, Jumbo Josh and Opila Bird. So get comfortable and enjoy this new video. When we start the game, we see a black and white recording of a computer room. Also, at the bottom of the screen is a message that reads, For a parent looking for the missing child, time is a delicate matter, click the clock to advance time. But as we move forward in time to check the recording, we can notice some strange things in that room. For example, a hammer and some wooden boards appear, but as we advance a little further in the recording, these objects disappear. When we advance a little more, we can notice that the doors of the room open and we can see a drawing of the garden pet on the wall. And at the end of the recording, the lights of the room turn off and the game starts. The first thing we see in the game room are two computers on a desk and a blue card that we have to take, so we have to find what to do with it and while we do, on the walls there are different paintings such as Jumbo Josh, Stinger Flynn, Bambaline, Bam Bam and Opila Bird. As we advance in this room, we find a door that opens when we slide the card. As soon as we open it, we see a somewhat disturbing letter that says the following. Dear mommy, I'm hiding in a room, but I have to fight the monster, it is the only chance to make Claire like me. In that same letter, there is a curious drawing, where the monster turns out to be Opila Bird. This is the same beer shaped monster that debuts in the first chapter of Garden of Ban Ban. In fact, Opila appears as the first antagonist seen during the game and is seen falling to its doom after falling into the void. Its appearance is that of a flamingo, with pink fur and purple fissures, besides, it has disturbing red eyes. Its entire body and head glow pink, while its hair and wings glow purple. The lower part of its body is formed by thin yellow legs with circular toes. As we continue advancing and exploring the different rooms, we find a battery, which we must also save, plus a drone that opens more doors as it moves, and this is where for the first time we see Opila. Although in the murals, it is shown as a cheerful and happy figure that constantly wants to see people laugh and smile, and encourage everyone to be positive with others throughout the nursery. This all changes upon seeing it, as it is a monstrous bird, besides, it seems to be a beholder that becomes aggressive when someone tries to confront or get away from it, screeching and presumably sending it into the void as punishment. Opila is seen picking out from the playground, sitting in the top left corner, it has its mouth open, ready to eat 6 different eggs scattered around the area. You must find and feed the bird with the 6 eggs for it to give you a card or key which will allow you to enter the opila trap. Moving further, we can see more scary and frightening things, Let's go out and chairs move. Suddenly, we are given a mysterious stamp and so we open more doors. The next door we open is one that leads us to opila, but in reality it is a statue of this bird that asks us to do a task. But when we look closely on its body, there are marked children's hands. Maybe the children claim don't need to play. What we have to look for are six eggs to feed this terrifying bird. When we finish feeding it, it gives us a card to open more doors, and when we open this door, we find a hammer that allows us to enter other places in which we see the footprint of this bird on the walls. After taking the escalator to cross to the empty well and get the hammer, you see Opila coming towards you on a secondary escalator. You must use your drone to press a button, revealing an emergency board that you must cross while it is moving. After using the emergency button to shut down all systems, Opila will jump towards you but will fall into the void. Some curiosities about this monster are that Opila's claws are marked on the walls of the pit, indicating that Opila has previously fallen into the pit and climbed up, so there is a good chance that Opila is still alive.
Jumbo Josh is a green muscular monster with four limbs. It is one of the mascots of the Bam Bam Kindergarten and a painting of it appears on the wall along with the other mascots of Garden of Bam Bam. It is the final antagonist of the first chapter. Besides, its appearance is made more disturbing by the wrinkles that characterize its long and green body and the strange way it moves and walks, but especially the big teeth it has. The size of its arms and fists are very large, even thicker than its legs, as these seem to be shorter, thus having the appearance of a gorilla. Jumbo Josh's legs, in its monstrous form, are not seen in the game, but they are in the full 3D model. Although from the paintings of it on the walls, it looks like it walks on two legs, it actually walks using its arms as well, giving it the appearance of a gorilla. There is a secret Jumbo Josh room, which can be accessed by scanning the QR code on one of the boarding passes that sends you to a page on the Euphoric Brothers website. Jumbo Josh also has a miniature version called Mini Josh, which appears in the teaser of the second episode of Garden of Bam Bam. It is believed that there may be several miniature versions that may be its minions and follow its orders. A curious fact is that Jumbo Josh is one of the first monsters that can be seen on the walls with a dialogue saying the following eat vegetables and fruits to become strong like me. Besides, in the drawing, where all the monsters appear together, it seems that Jumbo Josh is bigger than all the others. There are some hacks that allow you to do some different things, such as Jumbo Josh hits many times opil a bird, which might explain the blood on its fist. It also allows you to see Jumbo Josh in 3D. You can also substitute Opila for Jumbo Josh, and another thing you can do is to save Opila and make it to accompany you until the moment when Jumbo Josh appears, although in the end only Opila gets booked and falls into the void when Jumbo Josh hits the elevator. Jumbo Josh is by far more disturbing than Opila, it causes more terror in the moment when it finally appears. Besides, the spooky background music and the monster sounds that Jumbo Josh makes give you a creepy feeling. Although, it presumably dies at the end, most likely it doesn't and only fainted, so it is possible that Jumbo Josh is one of the monsters to be defeated in the second chapter. One of my theories is that maybe, in the final chapter, you will end up facing all the monsters together in this dark garden of Bam Bam. This has been all for the moment, I hope you liked this monster of garden of Bam Bam made of plasticine, if you want me to make the other ones, let me know in the comments. Also, I invite you to subscribe and leave your like, with this, you support me a lot. Greetings, take care, and see you in the next video.